Hi guys, good morning. It's like seven o'clock. So right today, I'm gonna talk about the Shox 19 Pro. I'm gonna do a little review of it and yeah, see how it plays. The Shox 19 Pro is famously known to be used by Kenta Momota or Kodai Naroka or the Chukyu, uh, but they're just using different colors. You know, talking about the colors, how beautiful is that? You know, a black and white, you know, grade grading. And then a yellow bit here, 99 Pro, and then a writing of Astrox 99 Pro. They say that, you know, the white rackets are only for women, you know, it looks very feminine. But honestly, if you look at it, no, it, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about, but it looks very macho to me. When I first got it, I thought it was like a zebra, you know, like black and white zebra. But I saw it, it's like white tiger, you know, so. I don't know, it's just, I think it's just a marketing ploy to make it sound more manly but honestly a zebra would be better because it fits the color scheme more so now let's get to the nerd shit so the Astrox series made by Onyx is famously known to be uh, head heavy compared to the Art Saber uh, which is even evenly balanced and Nano Flare which is head light compared to the old Nano Flare which uh, you have to use a lot of wrist power and your shoulder just to make it go over the net but for this you just let the racket fall and it will go over um, the point of using head heavy rackets you know the frame is that it generates a lot of power you know, it's like you're hitting it with a sledgehammer right the downside of using a head heavy racket is that it is very energy taking because you have to have a lot of you know arm power a physical power you need to be able to jump because if you don't it's hard the technique to use it is really hard and you'll get tired really really fast so especially for the Astrox 99 it is famously known to be very very heavy so if you use this in 3U version which is the heavier version this is the 4U G5 which is lighter if you use the 3U version, you'll, your arms will get tired easily. That, that's why Kenta Momota changed from 3U to 4U because he said that his arms are numb. Yonex said that the Astrox 99 Pro is a very big improvement compared to the old Astrox 99, which I doubt, but they say that it should be better. Now, the Astrox 99 Pro have an assist bumper, which the old Astrox 99 didn't have. Uh, it has a thinner shaft compared to the old Astrox 99 and it has a new isometric head shape which is supposed to increase the sweet spot which is like when you hit it sounds nice and the cap which you cannot see because of the grip because i'm dumb for the materials of this racket it's completely the same with the old astrox 99 um, it has NAMD, which is all the astrox series material uh, it has it's made in japan and it has this rotational generator system which is supposed to like give you a better control of the ball again so basically they're marketing it as like a very powerful a very controllable racket so now i'm gonna try to test it out if it's better than the old astrox 99 or it's just uh, the same or whatever you know i want to see the power i want to see the control of this thing so let's go so just as a disclaimer, the string here is all recommended by Yonex. This is Aerobyte at 28 pounds of tension. So yeah, it's what they recommend. So, uh, in my opinion, I think that the Astrox 99 is a very strong racket. Uh, it produces a lot of power even with a little backswing. But, you know, over time, if you use it enough, it's, it gets really heavy. You know, because you really feel that head heaviness. Um, but yeah, it's still very strong, very solid. You aim and it goes exactly where you want it. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Just at a small price of maybe your arm falling off. 
Now let's test the control of this thing. Okay, so for the control, I did drop shots, and yeah, it's it feels really nice because you you can aim it left and right without any issues. Because the racket is heavy, I don't need to put a lot of power on the drop shots, and yeah, I just think that this is one of the best compared to others. Uh, of course, it's better than the old Astrox 99, but I would say it's on par with the Astrox 100ZZ. So that was my final verdict of the Astrox 99 and thank you for watching. I, I love, love you. <laughs>